Rawr. When I look at lions, I not only think of my time in Kenya, I think about the movie, The Lion King. And when it comes to events, events are actually a lot like great movies because there is a hero's journey. And The Lion King, Simba has to go out into the wilderness on his own because he thinks he's smart enough to go and do it on his own after he sees his dad die when he thinks it's his own fault. He has to overcome his uncle Scar and the hyenas and all kinds of obstacles on his way back to his rightful place as the king of the jungle, king of the, of the tribe. Well, at, at events, our attendees are the hero of the journey. And they're arriving with certain expectations and certain trepidations. And then as they enter into the event, we hopefully create a welcoming space for them and they're feeling great and optimistic. But at some point, they're going to hit a barrier. It might be a barrier of knowledge. It might be a barrier of energy. It might be a barrier of feeling isolated and they need to feel like they're more part of the community. And they will overcome that because we can help them and we can anticipate what that's going to be. But at some point that barrier is gonna become even higher or an even deeper pit. It's gonna be something that maybe we can't anticipate because it's more mental or it's more emotional, might even be a spiritual place, but we need to create a supportive environment so they don't vacate and leave early. They might short circuit the process and um, disappear before they have a chance to really tackle that. Well, in great movies, just like in great events, there are resources available. There are experiences available that help people uh, experience that. So let's think for a minute about how that might look in an event. Someone starts at the event, we're definitely thinking about that arrival experience and helping put them at ease, helping them feel psychologically safe, helping surround them with new friends and old friends and making sure they're aware of the resources. When that conflict comes, we're there with the resources available to help them overcome that. We've anticipated it or we're just um, thinking about how can we solve in individual situations, you know, with that do for one, what you wish you could do for everyone kind of mindset. And then as they keep on going, when they hit that, that really deep, dark night of the soul, we are there with them again, providing additional resources, being personally available, speakers being available. And then finally, as they come out of all that and they're ending the event on a high, we are there to celebrate with them, sending them off, but also making sure they don't feel like they're going off alone, but we're continuing to be with them either as an organization or individually, or they're leaving now with new friends, new possibilities to change the world. Now let's switch over. So that's kind of the storyline but we also want to think about this like it's a film score. So music plays a big part in the customer journey, just like in a video game, just like in a movie. Music is accompanying every scene along the way and intensifying or enhancing the experience. If we had the wrong music playing, let's say we're playing something that our kids listen to instead of us, or it's something really angsty when we're supposed to be feeling elated or sad, then it's a conflict and we're actually brought out of it. Let me tell you a story. I, it took me a few years to figure this out. I'm a jazz saxophonist and I love playing jazz. And so at the first few years of our conference, I had a band together, we played jazz and people would say, you know, Phil, that's awesome. It's a little bit subdued. I'm like, well, that's the point. We want it subdued. We don't want people paying attention to the music. We want them talking with each other. Well, after a few years, I started to realize that people weren't coming into the room until we were done and the, the number of people that were talking about the music not being quite energetic enough, I finally got my attention and I asked myself this question. I said, well, who is our audience? Who really is coming here? And after a few years, we realized that the average person coming was a woman in her late 30s, early 40s. That doesn't look or sound like me, does it? And the kind of music that she listens to is more pop maybe. Perhaps it's country, but we figured it's probably pop and it's probably of a different generation. And then we said, well, what do we want them feeling when they arrive? And we want them feeling hopeful. We want them feeling nostalgic. We want them to feel like they belong. And we realized we need to play the music they listened to when they were a teenager or in their early 20s, when they were at the hap happiest part of their lives, hopefully, uh, when they thought they could change the world. And so 
over the last few years, that is the film score that we've started to write. We want to start with that. Of course, there are moments in time where we want to create some angst or we want to lean into the sadness or we want to be able to celebrate. So we're thinking about scene by scene, um, block of time by block, not necessarily a second by second like in a film score, but looking at the grand scope of the event, we are planning it out how to do that. And then finally, we are anticipating What's it going to look like at the end when the problem has been resolved? What are they going to be saying? What are they going to be feeling? What are we going to be seeing? And try to paint a picture of that for ourselves, for our staff, so that we can lean into that and we can build toward that. So, like with a great film, events have the ability to create a journey for our users, our attendees who are coming, where they have this amazing story where there's highs and lows, where they overcome, they climb mountains, they go through those deep pits, but they come out on the other side with new resources, new expectancy and hope, new skills, and new ability to go and change their worlds. My name is Phil Mershon. I'm author of the book, Unforgettable, The Art and Science of Creating Memorable Experiences. If you want to learn more, subscribe to this channel down below and you go have a great day.